our economy in the world. And by 2027, as our visionary Prime Minister have mentioned, India will be third largest economy in the world. What a nice feeling. I would like to share my experience right from, my, the, from, from the time that I go to school to teach in school, colleges, and now in university. I have not come across this type of efforts. I have not heard in a country this type of campaign or yatra. And now we have in our hands, as we see the time period, we have 23 to 24 years in our hands to make India big sit Bharat, that is advanced country. However, the question is, how do we make our economy thrive, thriving? India century and the country whole world into the future conference of its capabilities. India is the fifth largest economy in the world today. And we will be the third largest economy by 2027. As its GDP is expected to cross USD 5 trillion. By 2047, India is poised to be a USD 30 trillion economy with all the attributes of a developed nation. It will be a big ship Bharat. Vikshit Bharat means developed Bharat. Our country has come a long way since independence and has been transformed on many fronts. There has been massive expansion in social and economic infrastructure. Web link and a QR code which the students can use to access directly the page in the My Government portal, My GOV portal, where they can uh, give their suggestions and ideas. And uh, for this, ma, there are some suggested uh, plan of action in, by all the head of institutions. First thing is, we would suggest, the Niti Aayog also suggests that you can open a cell, a special cell, headed by a uh, fairly senior or uh, any other fac faculty member who, whom you deem fit and uh, with a couple of other faculty members and some staff who can plan out a, a specific plan of action for your education institutions. And I am glad that uh, when the, one of the panelists from Nagaland University, he also shared that the NU has already come up with a detailed SOP as to how to engage with the students. And uh, since NU has uh, the affiliated colleges as well, all the government colleges and also the private colleges, I request the VCNU in leading and uh, engaging with all the head of uh, colleges, all the head of heads of the government colleges. Open the doors, not only from the educational point of view, not only from the practicing point of view, but also from the point of view of medical tourism. If the Hornbill Festival can open the doors to the global uh, arena, then I think that NIMSAR, Nagalin Institute of Medical Science and Research, though in a very embryological stage, is also gearing up for the medical tourism of tomorrow because we are producing doctors of tomorrow. Now, medical tourism has connected the whole world, not only for the medical purpose, but also to strengthen the tourism through collaboration. 40% post office and different infrastructures. Now boosting investment to increase farmers' income, the price increase is not only sufficient, but we have to give buyback guarantee for making value addition and other aspects. Yield increase investment in agriculture R&D, diversifications, contract farming, critical infrastructures to the South East Asia, with related to the Bangladesh and nearby country to be covered. Even agriculture productivity related to the different technology, zero terrain methods, ITK, and the different improved methods, natural farming, organic farming, must be giving more emphasis. Whenever we are talking about this 
water pollution, environmental pollution, one name we always use, that is the dyes. Dye molecules are the things which we are using for coloring anything. And in majority of the cases, dye molecules are having a particular moiety, nitrogen, nitrogen double bonded nitrogen pair, that is with a triple bonded or double bonded nitrogen pair, that is a known carcinogen. That's a known carcinogen, we know, but we are kind of helpless, we are always using those kind of dyes. Even in the food colorant we are using, even in the, the, uh, in, the um, in, in any other coloring agents like cloth materials and all, we are using those dyes. The note from uh, the government, Ministry of Education, five themes, but we here have chosen one thing which is very important. Direct investment. Then we began, the one is now Indians are globally around from America, US are doing wonderful business. How to attract the Indians NRIs foreign development and investment in India? Because if you see the last the investment so far made, very small, it is only how to attract Because that is shows that Indians are developed. It is a other countries like China. Many of the persons working in China, outside the China, they are bringing more to Chinese. For Indian NRI, how much they have brought and how we can improve it. Sir, yes. I'm Dr. Sendil Kumar, Director, Northeast Christian University. Sir, for the youth, because they are going to be the changing trends. If you focus on 10 15 years before in Tamil Nadu, TVS has taken the youth of the polytechnics and in the college and they made a separate curriculum for them and they will go for the final year at national international level. Proactive and student supports regarding leadership, assess services, faculty employment, <laughs> learning communities, student faculty interactions, yes. basis. So already we have a policy in the government that um, after marriage when they become pregnant they are doing the HIV testing for the mother and also for the, uh, the husband. But I feel um, the HIV testing should be adopted even when they are going in for the marriage at the time of marriage. I will give all governors to the कि उन्होंने विकसित भारत के निर्माण से जुड़ी इस वर्कशॉप का आयोजन किया देश की युवा शक्ति को दिशा देने का दायित्व जिन साथियों पर है उनको आप एक मंच पर लाए हैं